Completely. Ah. 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 As you can see, with the right methods and the right equipment, you're really efficient. Hey, eh, Emily? So now let's see how come Emily was able to pull the truck. It's quite simple. She used a block and tackle system, which consists of a few pulleys installed, and which will increase the pulling power, but will reduce the speed. So the first step that she did was to install the first pulley at the load. It's really important to install the pulley at the load. A lot of people think that when you're using a pulley in a tree, for example, you're increasing the power, but that's not true. The pulley needs to be at the load. Then she just put the rope in the first sheave and walk to the anchor point. Then what she needs to do is install an anchor point where she will install a second pulley. In this case, we're using a tree that has been cut, so it will be important to put the sling at the lowest position so it doesn't slip over when we're gonna pull. So then Emily will install the second pulley at the sling. If she'd be using only a single pulley at the vehicle, what she would need to do here would be to attach the end of the rope around the anchor point. That would be only doubling the pulling power, but it would be the way to do it. So she'll be installing the pulley now. Then put the end of the rope in the first sheave of the pulley and walk back to the anchor point. So walking to the other pulley, She'll put the rope in the second sheave of the pulley attached to the uh, vehicle. Then she walks to the pulley attached to the anchor point and again fits the rope through the sheave. Finally, she comes back to the vehicle. Then she's going to do the bowline knot to insert the carabiner in the loop so she can attach it to the pulley at the vehicle. So now Amelie will attach the carabiner to the pulley and lock it in position. Once the whole setup is done, you just need to make sure that everything is correct by pulling on this part here, this strand. And this is the nice part. So a lot of people are asking, how do we know how many times we've increased the pulling power? Well, it's actually pretty simple. All you need to do is to count the number of strands in your system. So in this case, I have one, two, three, four, five strands. So it's like having five Emily pulling instead of just one. Hey, Emily. <laughs> <laughs>